Hello and welcome back to Veg Garden. In today's video, I'll be uh, just doing a few jobs on the garden and bringing you along with me. So, uh, one of the first jobs I got to do is plant up all these uh, little plug plants from uh, Root Source. Um, they've sent me some plants to show on the YouTube videos. So, um, this will be the first video of me potting them on. Uh, they come in a cardboard box that is um, letterbox friendly, so you can get them through a letterbox. You don't have a big box to come. So uh, let's get that job done now. So root source send out these little um, notes with all the um, plants that they sell um, to tell you exactly how to grow the plant, um, which is quite handy for beginner gardeners. Um, tells you when you can expect a harvest, how to keep, uh, how to look after them, where to put them, and how to put them in the ground. Um, they're really good little notes um, for beginners, actually, and. Uh, and it also gives you a good reminder of what you've bought, um, which is, for anything like me, you keep forgetting exactly what you've bought all the time. They're really good little notes to have. Um, as you probably saw in that time lapse, I used the little dibby um, to do the little holes. This is a really handy little tool. Um, 3D printed in America. Um, all these little lines, uh, a different measurement and uh, it's really handy for pricking out so i use it all the time it's a really nice uh, really nice tool to have and then i'm going to be um just fertilizing these with the shropshire seaweed stuff um once i've uh, potted everything on i'll give them a quick blast with that and i uh, that should be good then so the plants that i've decided to pot up um to keep in pots for a bit longer um, I put them in a tray with um, a bit of seaweed, a uh, shrub of seaweed fertiliser in it and uh, that should just soak up now from the bottom. I'll give them a few minutes to sit in that now and uh, then I'll take them to the other greenhouse to be uh, grown on a bit and then uh, we'll plant them out in a few weeks. So here's the little red onions um, and I'll be planting these straight out in the clumps that they're in. So there's one in that clump, it's three in that clump, and I'll leave them like that as a good experiment to see if these come all right as a uh, multi So take these out now. So the onions are in now. I'll just give them a splash of water and they should be good. So the next job is to weed the strawberry trough that seems to be uh, starting to grow a few weeds. So I've grabbed the buck hoe and I'm just going to go out here and start tickling the surface. This little weeding tool get in the edges there. It's a really good tool to get rid of little germinate, fresh germinated seeds. You can see the slices through them and it's the best weeding tool that I own that you can operate with just one hand just to get into containers and round onions is perfect for this little fine job with really, my arms in the way there. So just to go round there. It doesn't won't get everything because I'm being a bit too quick here, but I'll come back after and hoe through them again. Especially being windy today. All these little fine roots will dry up. So just go through like this. It's an amazing little piece of kit handmade everyone's handmade quality of the handle is really nice made out of beech um bucko is printed on there it's got a nice ferrule which is 
always quite good. So the next job I got to do today is um, make these um, bait traps for the slugs. Um, and it's like a yeast powder that you mix in the water and then you put them in these little uh, pots, I guess. And then this stops the rain going in and filling the pot. And then the slug will crawl up in there, go down in there and then get drunk, apparently and uh, drown catching the slugs so i need to open this bag carefully uh, if i get my snips that, that'll be good back on the hook um, i just need to pour this powder into a little glass I've got here that I've worked out to hold the right amount of powder. So that's a good amount of powder. I'll tip that in there and I'll just rinse the glass out to get as much powder out as possible. I'll just use a little cooking out dipper to mix it all through. So another job I have to do today is put some compost over these beds um, and just make them look a bit nicer and uh, hold a bit more moisture. So I've run out of um, homemade compost, so I'm just going to, I've bought some bags, I'm just going to tip them over now. and. So that's that job done, all uh, mulched up nice now, so just need to water it in now and um, I might put some uh, EMC over it um, uh, from uh, bio, Dad's Biochar, that, just to get the soil really going in this bed now, because um, a lot of the buckets that I tipped in here, yeah, um, these are the buckets I first started out gardening in. So this is the original garden soil, if you like. So this solution now needs to sit for about half an hour to um, fully work the EMC solution. Uh, it needs to be left for half an hour to activate in the water. Allowed to stand for 30 minutes. So that's in rain water and it's now going to stand for 30 minutes and then I'll go and water it on. So the next job I've got to do after I've watered the tunnel and got all that bed prepped is uh, I've just planted out all these radishes here and um, these are a variety called Go Dry 2 and um, they're like a French variety so proper radishes um, and I'm just interplanting them uh, between these um, cauliflowers and then I'm just checking the cauliflowers for any slug damage which appears to be none and I'm also going to pinch off 
the lower leaf here because it's going to be purple and that's asking them for slug problems. Um, so I'm just going to remove that leaf. As you can see I've got some sawdust around these um, because it's so fine the slugs won't actually cross it because it sticks to them and dries them out a bit. So that sort of helps uh, deter the slugs out slightly. And then I've also got the beer trap, yeast trap there, um, so that'll further protect them. So that's uh, another job I've got to do is I've got a bit of coriander there, and I've got three um, dwarf rudder beans to plant out, which is a bit annoying because this whole tray was uh, beans. And there's these two little things here, one there, but I won't bother with them because they're a bit... Uh, bit not looking too good so now this has had half an hour to sit and just going to water it on over all the bed but quite thinly just so that the whole bed gets a bit get it on the edge there come back over to this side so as i was working in the garden the postman turned up and uh, he's brought me some seeds um, these are from Small Island Seed Company um, and now they specialise in perennials, um, perennial veg and perennial fruits. So I've got a nice mixture of um, seeds here. Uh, so there's earth chestnuts, Turkish rocket, which is um, like a perennial cauliflower. Uh, no, that's perennial cauliflower, perennial broccoli. Um, there's uh, cold hardy chilies. Um, these are just long leafed uh, fissilis. And then there's some, uh, these are, um, no, this one, this one, and this one. No, this one, this one, this one. Uh, like a leaf, leafy green. And these are like green berries in the tomato family. Uh, so there's a, loads of different stuff here. Um, so go and have a look if you fancy any perennial uh, leaf, uh, perennial things. So on top of all these seeds, uh, this also came. Uh, these are Mad River seeds, uh, seeds of life. Um, it's a pile of tomato seeds and they're all different varieties. Um, silver fir tree. Uh, there's 12 here and they sell like a bundle. Um, of just an assortment ice white cherry so they sent me these to show but it is a bit late for me to sow these but I'm still going to show them to you anyway um, just to say, say thank you to um, Mad River uh, they're really nice seeds actually looking um, I'll have to try them next year and I'll let you know what happens next year but most of these I'll be sowing this year anyway um, I'll be doing them in trays and then pricking them out probably because that's my preferred method of choice for any seeds um, that are quite small um, although the Turkish what was it yeah, the Turkish rocket they feel quite big seeds in this so we'll see um, otherwise I might sow them into trays so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching